Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Um, let me just address. <laughs> let me just address that. Yes, I am noticeably sick. You might not be able to see it because <laughs> the makeup is covering it up. Yeah, but you could definitely tell in my voice. I don't know. I've, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I wasn't going to let my sickness stopping me from filming for you guys. My face is almost done. Yes, I did put on my foundation, my concealer, my powder, and some bronzer. The rest of the video will be a voiceover, and hopefully by the time that I get around to editing this and to doing the voiceover, hopefully my voice is a little bit better. But I just wanted to come on here first to give this video a proper introduction, the one it deserves. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, it is going to be a Valentine's versus anti-Valentine's makeup look in collaboration with the wonderful, the beautiful, the funny Elizabeth Davis. You can find her channel here on YouTube by Elizabeth Davis Vlogs, and I'll, of course, leave it down in the description down below so you can go and check her out. We've been following each other for a while, and it's actually pretty funny because since the very first video that I saw from her, I, I just came up to my head like, I was like, this girl looks a lot like me. I don't know. And then I started following her on Instagram, and the more posts that I saw from her and the more videos that I, I would see from her, I would continue to tell myself, like, I see so much similarities in her that I see in myself a part that we have like very similar I think personalities and we have the same interests like makeup and fashion we have like a very similar resemblance if you don't believe me more the reason to go check her out so you can come and tell me whether you agree or not but anyways before I do go on to the eye makeup look I am just going to finish off my face I did do the contour and I'm going to go ahead and do blush now this will be the only portion that I don't do a voiceover and that's just because I'm going to do half my face for the valentines and then my other half for the anti-valentines I did contour with my Wonder Trip for two, and I am going to use the blush Bellini for this side. It's really pretty. It's a really perfect, like, pinky blush. For my anti-Valentine side, my left side, I'm going to be using the Ciate London Marbled Light Halo. It's a little bit more mauve so I think it's a little bit more suit, or more, more fitted for that look. I don't know. Am I making sense? No. Huh? I almost dropped this. Oops. So taking that and I'm not on another brush and just dapping that on. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but for me in person it does make a difference. And then after this is when I do go in and bake, so I'm just taking my airspun for that. Alrighty guys, my voice is so much better, thank goodness. So let's start off with the Valentine's Day look first. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible Palette and picking up the shade Bible on a fluffy brush and just applying that to my crease. I'm building up the color slow and steady because I really want that blend to be beautiful up there. Because this look, I'm going for a very simple yet pretty look. So I want to make sure everything's nice and blended. So taking my time with this. And you can see that I am dragging it out a little bit further than I usually do. Then next, right after that, I'm taking another Anastasia um, palette. This one is the Norvina. and taking Love. It's perfect, right? It's perfect for the occasion. The shade Love. Just on my finger and applying that to my lid. After this, I do go in with the first brush that I use. No additional product, just the brush. I want to make sure those two colors have a nice blend. So I go back and forth a few times with my finger and with my brush just to make sure that those colors are really nice and blended. Then going back with the Carly Bible palette with the shade Bali, that one is going to be used for my highlight in my inner corner and brow bone. And then I felt that this look needed a little bit more shimmer, so I went back to the Norvina palette and got the shade Wild Child. It's a beautiful pink shimmery color, so I got that with my finger just applied that to the middle of my lid. And then I went back with the shade Love to apply that to my lower lash line. And here I'm just taking a clean little brush to make sure that it is nice and blended down on the bottom. I don't want any harsh lines. And then this is the time where I go in and I fix my eyebrows. I do go in to curl my lashes and then I went in with mascara. I did one coat to my top lashes first and then I went on to my bottom lashes and then I went again onto my top lashes to apply a second coat. And of course I need to highlight my cheekbones so I went in with my Beige Cosmetics Carly Bible palette this time and I got that lighter pink highlight shade for my cheekbones. It's so gorgeous. 
and that is it that is my valentine's day look it is super cute and simple easy to recreate really it really is and i thought that this look is would be perfectly paired with a light baby pink lippy so i'm using this matte bare minerals lip in kissy face And now moving on to my anti-Valentine's Day look. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm first taking my Essence Black Eye Pencil and applying this messily onto the lid. Don't worry about it being perfect. It does not need to be perfect at all. I just need that base before applying a uh, black shadow. So I'm taking the black shadow for my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It's just a beautiful matte black. So I'm just applying this right on top of that black eye pencil. Um, Applying it in dabbing motions and then just slowly smoking it upwards. Oh, hey, look, another Anastasia palette. <laughs> it was just perfect for the occasion. These colors are gorgeous. Anyways, what am I saying? Okay, I'm picking up the shade Love Letter on a smaller uh, blending brush. And I begin by stamping this color onto my crease first. I stamp on the shade. I want to make sure the pigment is there. And then I slowly do the blending in small circular motion. So again, stamp and then blend, stamp and then blend. Slowly, you want this look to look nice and smoky. So again, take your time with the blending process. It comes out beautiful at the end. And then I just take that same brush and shade for my lower lash line. And then again, taking a small uh, clean brush just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going in with the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette and I'm picking up the shade Eternal Light. So beautiful for the inner corner, so that's what I'm using it for and also for my brow bone. Then I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer and just with the concealer brush, I'm putting some of that on. I applied a little bit too much. I was distracted. I don't know with what, but I put on a little bit too much on the brush. But anyways, putting the lash, I'm um, not the lash, the glitter primer on top of the internal light color. I'm picking up these glitters that I have had forever. I bought them like in a pack of like 12 or something downtown so I have like a lot of these glitters that I use for my nails as well but this time around I'm using it for my inner corner and be sure that you're careful whenever you're putting glitter around your eye. Trust me you do not want getting glitter in your eye. It hurts. It hurts. I, I didn't get any in my eye this time but I have in the past and I'm just letting you know be careful. <laughs> so here I am then you already know fixing my eyebrows and then for this look I did go ahead and add a wing of course and of course um curling my lashes adding a layer of mascara top and bottom. I am lining my waterline with my black eye pencil and then I did go ahead and apply falsies for this look. And then using the ABH Aurora Glow Kit in that shade Spectra. It's so beautiful, beautiful purple highlight for my cheekbone. And that is my anti-Valentine's Day look. And of course for the lip, it had to be like darker. Um, so I used this one from Milani. What is it called? Hold on, let me see. It is the Amore Matte in the shade Obsession. And that was all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And let me know down below, which one do you prefer? Do you like the Valentine's or the anti-Valentine's? <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.